Hey guys, it's Chris from Hexamatic. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways you can get data from Amazon, the world's biggest e-commerce platform, probably. Anyways, so here I am on Amazon. I'm searching for 4K TVs. Um, the cool thing about Hexamatic is that we have a, a built-in scraping recipe builder. This enables you to scrape most websites. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is show you how to scrape this page. So here I'm going to copy the URL of the search page and I'm going to create a new scraping recipe. And I put in the URL from Amazon and I can click preview. Now there are two ways of getting data from Amazon. You can use a scraping recipe, build your own, or you can use our ready-made uh, premium automations to do it using one click. So first I'm going to show you how you do it manually and then I'm going to show you how you can do it in, in a few clicks. So here's the Amazon page. Uh, here we're interested in getting, for example, the uh, titles of all the products. So we're going to click this. And Hexamatic enables us to select a specific element or all matching elements. So in this case, we're going to choose Select All. And this is going to get us the, uh, all the titles on the page. And this is text. So, uh, a cool feature about Hexamatic in our scraping recipe builder is you can specify what kind of data you want from the field. So in this case, you could either get the text of a link or the URL of a link. In this case, we want the text. I'm going to click OK and we see a preview here. Uh, next, we want to get the URL. So we're going to click this again, the same field, select all, and say URL, and we're going to choose this time link URL. Aha, it tells us URL not found. Let's see why. So here we're going to edit our selector. We're going to go on refine selector. And here we can see there's an additional span in the HTML. If we remove it, if we remove it, it should work perfectly. Um, next, let's look at, uh, let's get the image. Select all. Image. In this case, we want the source URL. There we go. And that gets us, so uh, we've got uh, the title, we have the URL, image, let's get the price as well. So we're going to click on this price, select all, price, and that's number. Perfect. Now, this gets us uh, data using a scraping recipe. If you wanted to run this, you would click Save, and then you'd go into uh, your uh, workflow. Let's see here, I'm just gonna close this. Create a new workflow. I'm gonna choose my scraping recipe. And I would run. That's it. Um, data that you would get from this, let me show you a uh, example. So this is one I made earlier. Uh, so I was searching for a, an iPhone in this case. I've got my price, got my rating, I've got my image, and I've got my URL. All the data you would need if you wanted to scrape Amazon. Uh, the other way of getting data from Amazon is using one of our ready-made automations. So to do this, we're going to create a new workflow. And we're going to use the Amazon product search automation. Here we're going to type in, for example, 4K TV. We're going to pick how many results we want to get. Uh, the language, so this is English, and this is the United States marketplace. And we can click continue. Now, click run now, and I'm just going to show you what data you get from here. So in this case, we're getting it from an uh, automation. Here's one I made earlier. So we got our keyword, we've got the rank, we've got the XPath, we've got the title of each product, we've got the URL, the price. We can see whether it's a choice product, a bestseller, uh, the rating. Uh, we can see how many ratings they've had, the average score, um, all the data you would, you would need. Now, there's another part of um, Amazon data that's really interesting, especially if you're a seller. 
And that is understanding who's actually selling the product. So for example, we're going to one product here. Um, for this TV, this product is sold by Amazon, but it's also sold by nine other sellers. So here we have uh, Amazon warehouse deals, we have uh, this seller, uh, this seller, Aztec computers, IPC store, etc. So if you're an Amazon seller and you uh, sell a, a popular product, it's often you will the, the, the more popular your product gets, the, the more chances you have of other uh, sellers either selling the same SKU as you or looking to hijack your listing. So in this case, you can have different types of uh, uh, suppliers uh, selling a particular TV brand. Uh, this is perfectly legal, no, no issues there. Uh, but sometimes you also get uh, your, you, you create a, a unique product that no one else sells, but you still get, uh, for example, other sellers trying to sell the same product in your listing. Uh, this can be pretty irritating if you're an Amazon seller. So what Hexamatic can do is you can use our, um, our new um, sellers, um, seller finder automation to uh, essentially scrape this product listing and get the prices, uh, who is selling, and their ratings. So let me show you how that works. So I'm just going to create a new workflow. And let's use this. Uh, it needs a Amazon ASIN number. So we can find this ASIN number both in the URL here, or if you look into the listing, there should be a ASIN here. So you copy this, you go into Hexamatic, you put in the ASIN of the product that you want to monitor. Uh, so we're going to do, uh, uh, sorry, not Spanish, English. And we're going to look for this product in the US marketplace. And we're going to click continue. Now you can run this one time or you can have it on schedule. You can save it as a CSV or you can sync it to a Google Sheet. Uh, syncing it in a Google Sheet is really useful because you can, you can do this for multiple products by using um, a data input uh, at the beginning of your workflow uh, with your different ASINs and this will essentially check all these. Uh, I'm just going to run you through one I made earlier. So, so here's the ASIN that we were monitoring. Uh, here we can see the rank of each seller selling this item. We can see the name of the seller. Here in this case, you have Amazon, Amazon Warehouse, all these different sellers. We can see their, the URL of their seller page, uh, who's shipping, the condition, if it's not new, uh, if, if, there are any, uh, if, if something is sold not new, then they will have a, a condition here. So for example, uh, this, this, this product has imperfections. Uh, we can see the prices. So you can see how competitive you are uh, compared to other sellers for that listing. Um, and you can also um, see the ratings of each seller. So you can keep a, an eye on how, how well they're performing compared to you. Uh, see if, if there's any information on delivery dates, it will be also listed there. So this is super useful if you're an Amazon seller uh, because uh, you're able to essentially monitor any uh, Amazon listing and get an idea of you know, who's got the best price uh, and if there's anyone hijacking your listing. So we covered three ways of getting uh, Amazon data. So doing it yourself using a scraping recipe, uh, using our ready-made automation uh, to get the Amazon listings data and uh, using our uh, Amazon uh, seller data uh, automation, which gives you uh, in-depth data as to who's selling a specific SKU. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day ahead.